why pet parents could be doing more harm than good, according to Animal Bavirelists. Tamara Cavanet is a self-confessed pet parent and says she took her dog Benji everywhere with her for the first couple of years of his life. I was perfectly happy to go over to someone's house with my dog, regardless of what might have suited them, she said. So I certainly can understand people who treat them like their family. But as a psychologist, Ms. Cavanet says she soon realized there needed to be a healthy balance between spending time with her pet and her own well-being. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. I think having some separation from your pet is healthy for them, but also healthy for you, she said. A good measure of whether it's healthy or not is other people's responses. Ask yourself, do you think a reasonable average person would be doing what you're doing? Animal behaviorists warn, if you treat your pet like your child, you may be doing more harm than good. Dog behaviorist Faith Wilde says close bonds with our pets have been exacerbated due to the time we spent with them during COVID lockdowns. We've all run out and gotten dogs and lavished all of our love and attention on them, and they've become the center of a lot of people's lives, she said. However, Ms. Wilde says pets are not children and have different needs. If we don't understand the needs of our animals and give them boundaries it can create a lot of confusion, she said. They don't understand what we want from them or need from them, they can't learn to isolate by themselves. Owners need to make the rules Ms. Wilde says pet owners need to educate their dogs through understanding and trust, without ever being physical, and by speaking their language. They will go to the person who commands respect, Ms. Wilde says. You don't have to browbeat them or be nasty, but you do have to draw a line where the rules are. And when you correct the dog every time they make a mistake, it becomes a habit, and they learn not to make that mistake. Ms. Cavanet says, having a dog is also beneficial for people experiencing loneliness after a breakup, a death, or when children have grown up and left home. There's a lot of really good research around about pets giving protective factors against mental health, she said. A lot of people do find that there is a lot of mood improvement in being around your pet, and there is some good research around how calming it can be just physically touching a pet. Be careful if your pet holds you back. Ms. Cavanet warns that it can also be an issue for some people who use their pets as a reason to avoid living their lives because they are so attached to their animals. I've certainly had clients who have struggled to separate from pets who haven't wanted to leave the home because their animal might get distressed, she said. Ms. Cavanet said as a pet owner, you need to still be able to see people, feel comfortable leaving the house, and be able to maintain relationships with other people. There can be a tendency to project our own emotions and feelings onto our pets, she adds. I know that some people will look at their dog in the morning and go, oh, look at her self-esteem, it's just so low, Ms. Cavanet said. While it is useful to have a pet, they cannot fulfill all of your social needs, and stay home because of that is a bit of a concern. We have a huge social need, our brain really fires off when we're around other people.